this is the final step. If I do anything beyond this, it's just extra shit, all right? But this one is it. This is the final thing. And we're going to learn how to use uh, cron tab. And uh, I like using uh, this, uh, the GUI. Uh, a lot of people use the, you know, the terminal. That's fine. It's not that hard to use the terminal, but uh, this is what I like to use. It makes sense to me. And I'll show you that in a minute. But what you got to do is write a script here. So open uh, wherever you want to put it and make a, a new document, an empty file. And name it whatever you want. I just happen to name it uh, dtest.sh here. All right? And I believe you have to do this too. So right click on it and go to properties and uh, permissions, uh, allow executing. So that's that. Now inside it, you have to type in this. And um, let me see here. The first line is tell it to use uh, you know bin bash you, uh, tell it to use bash or you can use uh, shell script if you like it's the same thing anyways the second line is um, uh, you tell it to use flex git but you have to use the absolute path of it I call crontab the stupid uh, version of the terminal because um, you know in the terminal you can just type in um, give me an example like last time I type in flex git what up, what up? Flex get and it just runs right, but in the cron tab you have to actually type out the whole goddamn uh, where is it at, so that's why you you have to uh, type out this long ass thing here, okay? Because they don't know where is it at, um, and to figure out where um, flex get is at, all you gotta do is type in uh, where is flex get, and they'll tell you the path, okay? Same thing for other applications like um, where is transmission uh, and I'll tell you is in the USR bin transmission alright so that's how that is and you have to put the absolute path uh, so that is to start uh, flex git and um, this one is export display zero basically crontab is really good for um, uh, terminal apps but uh, transmission is a GUI app so you have to tell it uh, I'm using a GUI app and uh, you have to tell it where is it at okay so you SR bin transmission however if you start like this way transmission will pop up in your face you know and I don't like that so the way to do it uh, when it when it starts up a minimize uh, is to do this okay is export display equals uh, zero here and CD into the folder uh, and transmission dash M so it's gonna start minimize uh, I try to do it like this it doesn't work so if I put dash M here it didn't work otherwise I would do that but it doesn't work that way so that's why I did it uh, this way down here alright so basically the, this thing will start flex git and it'll start transmission uh, minimize here uh, and as far as flex git th there will be no output there's nothing they're not gonna pop up in your face and tell you oh he's doing this okay so let me end uh, my uh, transmission here okay let me uh, close that off it's not in the train no more it's, it's, it's ended and uh, let me save this um, and let's go back to uh, cron tab basically in here is uh, make a new one alright make a new one we want a reoccurring task so click on that and uh, once it pops up this uh, this is what you gotta write in there so you tell it to use um, the script that you just made okay so I use the dtest script and this is optional here but the greater sign blah 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 here is basically to make an uh, error log so if there's something is wrong crontab is not gonna say oh there's something wrong because it doesn't do any output okay crontab doesn't do that but if you want to see the error log of it that's exactly what you gotta do okay you have to make it a log and I put it into uh, what is it the temp folder right, slash temp folder and here's the error log so if there's any error it's gonna pop up uh, in, in my face and uh, tell me like oh this is not working or something but this one works fine because this is how uh, flex get uh, you know outputs it and uh, flex get is not gonna pop up in your face either it's just gonna do in the background so that's cron tab and as far as the behavior I put it as default but if 
it pops up in your face or something then try doing uh, suppress output or something like that but the default is fine for me and as far as the time you can set it some uh, predetermined ones here like every minute every hour every month that's uh, up to you and advance is basically uh, play around with it they'll tell you like I don't know was it at zero minute every hour it's kinda weird to read it but it'll make sense if you play around with it anyways let me give you an example so if I put every minute um, what it's gonna do is start flex get in the background run a flex get and if flex get uh, you know gets any torrents it'll download it and you see my transmission is not started yet um, but in a minute it will start it and it will start it minimize uh, to my panel here so we'll wait for that to happen and to get the this program uh, no schedules it's actually in your um, uh, you know your package manager and it's called gnome schedules but you see it just started automatically and that's how you would do it so that's that's it that's all you gotta do let me put it back to uh, one hour alright and there you go you see uh, transmission started up automatically and it's uh, you know it minimize and what else here you can actually uh, close this off you don't really need this running because uh, cron tab is uh, it runs in the background anyways that's only to set it up uh, so that is it uh, really and if you have any errors um, check out your error log you know of course this does not have any errors anyways you get the idea and that's how you would make it uh, do it automatically uh, it'll start, it'll start um, flex get it'll start um, your BitTorrent client of your choice and uh, it'll download automatically because we set it up uh, to do that. Uh, so that's the end of this.